week's wickedly cold weather, there would only be one undefeated boys basketball team in the WDA. The Century Minot contest was postponed, so the Patriots and Magicians are both unbeaten starting play today. St. Mary's has a chance, though, to change that tonight at home against the Patriots. First half of this one, Century's Kale Schomer works into the lane. Little baby fadeaway goes for him, and it's a five-point lead for Century. The Saints, Sam Fedorchek zips a pass outside, a little catch and shoot there for Nick Remich, and it's a three-point uh, bucket for him. But then the Patriots started to build the lead. Garrett Nisley along the baseline gets that floater to go, and Century goes on to win it, scoring 86 to the Saints, 42. Third place, Bismarck hosting Dickinson tonight. Second half of this one is where we start. Dickinson's Boston Cranston challenging the big guy inside. Cranston would score. The Midgets deficit is cut to single digits. But Trayson Eaglestaff, one of the more consistent scorers in the league, here he works right down the lane, does a nice job to put the Demons back up by nine. And then Andre Austin on the offensive side for BHS will drive hard to the basket. He is denied, but Quinn Hafner just scoops on he scores in there as he swoops in as Bismarck wins it. 92 to 64 was your final tonight. My, my not rolls over Mandan that was up in the Magic City. Legacy's Parker Falcon had 25 points in that win in Williston. Bowman County uh, against Flasher Battle of the Bulldogs goes to the top rated team in the state. The Imperials over the Clippers by 18. Seventh rated Glen Allen uh, Hebron goes to 10 and 1. New England beats Belfield by 10. Fourth ranked Lytton HMB over Ellendale tonight by 24. EKM tops Oaks. It was Grant County Mott uh, Regent 72 to Beaches 43. Barnes County North takes care of the Kidder County Wolves this evening. South Border was a half a dozen better than LLM. It was Garrison ninth ranked over Center Stanton and Hedinger Scranton 68 to Richard and Taylor's 42. Now, four teams have over 500 records in Region 4 of the new Class A division of girls basketball. Now, two of those teams are on the same court at the same time tonight. That's Kildare and Shiloh Christian, the Cowboys, making the trip to the capital city this evening. Early in the first quarter of this one, it is McKellen Walker with a little step back move here. She gets that shot to go. It's for three points over Paige Shook. Now, the Skyhawks get a little physical here on defense and forcing the turnover. That's the way they play. Then it's Sophia Hanger, herring her over, dishing it to Betsy Haddlestead. She would lay it up and in as Shiloh starts to get a lead. Second quarter here, Deidre Wood takes it herself, muscles in for two as Shiloh wins it 65 to 33. Lee Lee Bell scored 45 points for Minot tonight in a tight game against Mandan. Century by 14 over St. Mary's. BHS takes care of Dickinson by 24 and Legacy goes up to Williston scoring 87 and a win. Trinity's girls over Beulah by 12. Garrison uh, defeats Center Stanton. It was EKM 60 to Medina PB's uh, 35 and New England beating Richard and Taylor this evening. Now, team nicknames in sports go hand in hand unless you have a newer co-op and you haven't figured out a nickname uh, yet. BHS and Legacy, an example of that in girls hockey. So the Braves from Mandan are in second place. The statewide standings. This was a really good hockey game tonight. Legacy BHS as Maya Paul racing down, squeezing that shot to put Legacy BHS out in front. This one stayed close the whole way. Kelly Burris, or excuse me, this is Ma Michaela Fleck scoring for Mandan as Legacy BHS wins it. It was a shootout, four to three, the final score. Dickinson's girls over Century two to one. Boys hockey now. Legacy two to one over Minot. Mandan shutting out uh, BHS. BHS by three and Dickinson goes to Jamestown and the Midgets have a four.